In this video, we are going to have a look at how to remove the share toolbar that Teams presents itself on the top middle of your screen when you try and share your screen while in a meeting. So for example, so I have a Teams meeting in my calendar. So I click on that meeting and click the join button and you get the options to join the meeting. So click on join now and you have all the options on the top over here for various um, activities. So you can see the people that is in the meeting, you can chat with them, you can raise your hands, etc., etc. One of the common tasks that the presenters do is to share their screen by using the share button. So you can share the screen, present the entire screen if you want, or you can have multiple monitors and pick and choose the ones that you need. For example, I have two monitors over here and I can choose which ones I want. Or I can just pick one of the applications that I have and just press in the application itself. Now, once I do that, once I share my screen, I get a toolbar on the top middle part of my screen, which says you are sharing your screen. And for some reason, I can't get that uh, in my video recording. So the next best thing that I have is a screenshot just to explain what I'm talking about. So this is what I'm talking about. So you're sharing your screen, a red pop-up that comes up in the middle of your screen, top middle. And if you hover your mouse over there, you can see that all the couple of options that the Teams brings up, like, you know, you have the annotate options, you can pick up your cameras, you can unmute yourself, all those ones. Now, the trouble is, if you have multiple windows open, and if you want to just switch between one to the other, say, for example, you have a browser window open, and you just want to switch between the tabs, this particular pop-up that comes up in the middle doesn't allow you to do that. So in order to remove that, we don't have an option yet within the Teams application natively. What we do have is a workaround. So what we need to do is you need to click on that sharing toolbar using the mouse anywhere on the toolbar and using your keyboard, you press Control and W. That kind of removes that toolbar completely until the meeting ends or until you stop sharing your screen. Hopefully Microsoft will bring some kind of an option natively within the application which kind of removes this particular hindrance for anyone who is presenting while they are on a Teams meeting. If you found this info, a video informative, check out my other videos on the channel. Please do consider subscribing to the channel as I upload videos on a daily basis, mostly around Microsoft 365, Azure, Windows, PowerShell, and general IT stuff like you know the Teams application. Thank you.